Say it's an Campbell, the Viper captain, throws it in off the right shoulder of Noah Lafrobois to the corner, and now Tanaka Campbell bumped to the blue line. Here's Elliott, left point, waiting and shooting, tipped in, scores! Thomas Tien right in front, deflects that puck home through the legs of Caden Hamming, and the Vipers draw first blood with 15-12 to go in this opening period. It's Thomas Tien's first BC Hockey League playoff goal, and on the eighth Viper shot of the period, they make it one to nothing. Back to the blue line, Nell Milburn. Across right side, it's Welsh. Working in top of the right circle to the net, he scores! Connor Welsh from the... No, this is looking like the kind of thing that we saw from the Warriors when they were struggling to find wins over the course of March. And they're gonna try and regroup here, down by a pair of goals, however, here in game number two. Back to the front of the net, they score again. It's Anthony Klitsch from the right point who fires it past the glove side of Caden Hamming. And with 2 one to go here in period number one, it's been all Vernon in this first period. They lead 3 to nothing. Looks like Thomas TM might have got a deflection on that one. I don't think that went straight in. I'm sure I, I, uh, I would be surprised if that went straight in, but I didn't exactly see the tip. Here's Duclair. Lost the handle on in the left wing corner. Duclair. Left side, back to the blue line. Norlin holds it, slides it down. Left circle, Sharoon tried to get it to the front of the net. That was knocked down. Puck is loose to the corner. Now Duclair with eight seconds to go in the period. Duclair across, right side, scores! What a pass by Duclair! What a finish by Nelson! Power play goal with five seconds to go in the first, and it's a 3-1 game. Nice, uh, good control. Really nice pass, and uh, can't stop that. Well, there you go. Back along left wing now. Parks tried to saucer that down low. That was broken up. Salandra left it there. And now Aiden Reeves, an opportunity to clear, but he fanned on the attempt. Here's Parks back with it. Now he's taking a penalty, and Parks scores. Lee Parks in the left circle fires it past the blocker side of Caden Hamming. That's knocked away, and now Duclair's back with it again here on the left wing. Duclair, top of the left circle, moving into the right side now. A pass into the skates of Michael Salandra. Salandra back with it again. Right wing side, dropped it back off there. Here's Norlin, left circle. Duclair, a shot, he scores! What a shot. Power play goal, Chris Duclair is second of the playoffs from the left circle. Posted in on the glove side of Ethan David. And the power play for the Warriors gives them life again to make it a 4-2 game with 9.16 to go in the second period. We're going to try to keep that going. Their power play has been their lifeline so far here tonight. We're going to try to make it a one-goal game. Here's Norland midpoint. Left wing side, Duclair left circle down to the goal line. Sharoon back up top. Here's Norland waiting, shooting, scores! And just like that, it's a one goal game. Isaiah Norlin, a power play goal. The third power play goal of the night for the Warriors. It's 4-3. My goodness, well, this is a famous score right now uh, between these two clubs and uh, of course the Warriors hope that the one goal lead going into the third period can be different in the regular season than it is now. And Vernon's definitely gonna play a position where they wanna try and protect this lead, but also wanna push the pace. Here's Elliott, left point to the net, scores! And just like that, it's a 5-3 game. Connor Elliott, the long shot from the left point. Traffic in front, and it looks like it was tipped in front by Lee Parks, who has his second goal tonight, his third of the series. And Vernon jumps ahead once again to make it 5-3 with another two-goal advantage. Wilson right circle for Sharoon, back up top to the right point. Laframbois sends it down low. Moriello around the boards now for Sharoon. Sends it back up to the top of the blue line. May off the end boards. Here's Moriello. Back with it on the left side. Moriello makes his way to the slot. A shot. He scores! And 10.39 to go in the third period. It's a one-goal game once more. Jaden Moriello, his second goal of the playoffs, makes it 5-4. to four. And here we go. I got to tell you, Norland carries it ahead through center. Fires it back into the offensive zone. 12 seconds to go in the third. McMaster on the end boards, lost the handle. 
Puck around the boards right side, trying to clear his Milburn. He throws it towards the empty net. It's fired just wide. Four seconds to go. Tanaka Campbell to the puck and a centering pass. That's knocked away, and that'll sound the buzzer. This one's over. The Vipers come away with a 5-4 win in game number two and have evened this best of seven interior conference quarterfinal series one to one as we head to Vernon for game three on Tuesday night. Was it just me? 